Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are back for yet more paleo tours and this time we are touring a literal village. There is lots of houses here, there's lots to see and this was all created by the wonderful Burr and Gar. So I'm really excited to show you this one. As you can see, we have this gorgeous centerpiece out front here. I love the addition of this gate, but we have kind of like a little yard area here all behind this fencing we have a nice little chapa bathing spot here very very cute this is great inspiration i must say and we have some gardening areas like little flower beds behind even more fencing this is so pretty and then we also have this bridge over here i love the way that this looks this looks absolutely gorgeous so over the bridge we come into the main yard area there's actually four houses here so what i'm gonna do is take you through all of of the outside areas and then we'll take a look and see what's inside so here because of the way that the houses are structured everything feels kind of enclosed and i love that it feels like a proper community it's really really nice really beautiful and we have some little kind of fountain builds here makes it feel like a park almost and there are some little details outside of the different homes as well a nice little seating area and then over here they have made great use of the crafting tents and they've actually created like a little kitchen bar area so as you can see there's like the bar in there and then this is where they serve the food and we have lots and lots of dishes out front here and on the stalls as well very very nicely done i love the addition of all of the tables outside as well and the standees from the magic market as well this is really nice really beautifully done and i think a cafe is a great way to go on your island back all the way over here right on the very edge of the plot there is a little picnic setup as well that's very cute i'm here for a picnic setup or two definitely and then i just want to show you the gazebo as well because this has been done beautifully as well so if we just take a turn in here this is kind of outside of the fencing area but look we have the magi drum some lovely lights and then inside is the kitsu shrine with lots and lots of foliage look at all of that there's candles there's floating ones as well there's a few little chapa plushies um not plushies planters it just looks really really nice and i do like the statue behind it as well i think the statue and the kitsu kind of shrine thing works wonderfully together so i'm here for that so let's try and take a look inside now because we have a lot of houses to tour so i'm going to come back around the front here and we're going to head straight indoors so straight away we are greeted by a whole bunch of trophies and this wonderful fireplace where they've managed to get the curtain above it so 10 points for that but look at all the details here we have lots of food items candles the charcuterie board love that item and around here we see all the different flowers, different things in the bookshelves as well. I just love those details and there's so much you can see as well. Look how jam-packed this bookshelf is. It just looks great. And all of the wall items as well, I haven't even touched on them, but look. All the different pictures from all of the different NPCs. I really love this. And then around the side we have more curtains, those shampoo Shapical <laughs> capital chic items really add a nice little thing as well. Oh my gosh, he's got the gold trophy for the heavy metal chapper game. How? <laughs> How? Right through here, we also have a little bit of a kitchen. Very nice, not overly cluttered, but there are still some good features here. I like the way that they've done this kitchen as opposed to having it up against the wall. You can definitely have it sticking out as well, which is a nice little touch and we have a pantry area as well through here so we've got the freezer section the sink very very nice beautiful and we have lots of kind of decor items on the wall the chopping board the spice rack all of those trophies it looks great it really looks great and then through here we have the bedroom this is plushy heaven look at all of these plushies so we have the fish plushie i'm very jealous i got the honeybee plushie the other day from ziki's coin and i was over the moon with it and then we have the chapa down here and some more little items up here as well so cute 
again look at those wall items as well it's just beautiful i didn't even notice the chaffers up on top of the wardrobes that's really nice and the fish behind what a great design idea having that kind of focal point behind the bed really nice and great design kind of idea as well this is good this is really good and the wardrobe being turned around is really nice as well we also have a whole bunch of rugs on the floor which is definitely one of my go-to things just chuck a rug down and it always looks good and then we have a little bathroom as well which looks nice a little ensuite very very cute okay let's go and take a look at some of the other houses so if we head back around here again over the bridge and we're gonna head into this greenhouse which isn't a literal greenhouse it's just a house that's green but it still looks beautiful and this is where they have stored all of their bugs look at this it's like a study area and that looks really nice we've got the fireplace the lovely chaffer fountain in the middle here which is a really really nice touch we have some bookshelves and then from the bug area we move into the fish area which is a whole bunch of fish this just looks wow and i love that they've changed the color of the wallpaper from the green to the blue i just think that's a really nice little just feature there and then we have some more items through here some very fancy items that you get from the medals so we have i think that's the fish one the mining one and obviously the bug one as well and this golden egg i don't have this yet i don't know how you get that but i kind of love it and i love that it makes a great kind of feature here this is just really nicely done if you want like a museum this is great inspo I feel like a lot of people do like to add these in, so definitely, definitely, definitely good to see them. Right, what have we got up next? We have this brown house over here, which does have a few items out front, including the windmill. And we have this nice kind of rug leading up to it. The washing is out on the line, some lovely pants there. But inside we go, oh, this is the crafting house. Okay, so they have managed to put all of their crafting items in here and still make it look good which is hard work very hard work but it looks good and i think the addition of the rug the leaves on the floor is a really nice touch as well we also have the kind of cra more crafting machines the preserving jars the glowworm farms just normal kind of farms as well which is so cool so we've come out the side entrance here and i didn't even see this before this is the actual farm so i missed out a huge chunk so this is a farm it's more of an orchard and i kind of love all of the apple trees that's really cool and then around here we have the seed machines we also have a seating area and some chests this is really nice we have the well oh i really want that item so there is a bit more of an outside thing if you're wondering what they have done with their farm stuff not me just interrupting the farming i'm awfully sorry <laughs> i'm gonna head out this gate so that is what's behind there you can kind of see it from here as well which looks really nice and then we do have another kind of entrance way here again some gorgeous trees behind that fencing a lovely little entrance with a portaloo i'm a big fan of those portaloos but let's see what's inside the wallpaper is the paw print wallpaper which is kind of cool ah uh, so this is where cake parties are held i am guessing but if you're looking for cake party inspiration this is it this is good inspiration because you don't want to bake in an area that doesn't look good but this one does look good and it's not overly cluttered which i do find is very easy to do it's very easy to be like let's just put another item in and I do love that look, but sometimes you want functionality over aesthetics. And then we have a little kind of wash up area. So once everyone is done baking their cakes, they can pop in here and wash up. I love that. I love that so much. Very, very cute. Lots of details as you can see. There's so much stuff on the walls. Just a really nice clean layout. Very fitting kind of wallpaper for cooking. We're here for it. And then there is some snacks. If you want some snacks you can have the snacks okay and then outside does leave to like the party bar area which is just perfect it works great love that 
There is some more fountains over here as well, which I didn't notice before. Some glow things, so you can make it look nice. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We've kind of come to the end of the road of this tour, and it's been so much fun looking at this house. I haven't yet delved into making multiple homes on one plot, so I think this is great inspiration for me and maybe a good direction that I want to go in. And also, it means that you can have everything together, which if you don't want to switch between all of the different plots, which can be a little bit finickety at times, it is great for that as well. So I really hope you enjoyed touring this plot with me. Thank you so much to Bear for having me to tour this one. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see more plot tours soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.